number one question a lot of people are going to have does division does NAIA do they offer scholarships full rides right yeah and, and the answer to that is yes uh does it does it look a little different than most yes it does so like we take in consideration that you know division one school will say you're either on a full scholarship or you're not uh we're not like that so we can give partials we can give three quarters we stack academic money, your federal financial aid money, and really every institution has their own way of evaluating what a scholarship looks like. So while we're allowed to have eight full scholarships, uh, that dollar amount looks different at every institution at our level. So it's similar to D3 then where you pack it, you have eight scholarships, the dollar amount to work with, but you're almost like a, a baseball GM trying to give a little bit here, a little bit there, maybe a good player's coming in, you want to get more to him. You're balancing like that then, correct? Sure. And instead of just having 13 full scholarships to say, here's what you get athletic aid, we kind of move it around a little bit where we have, uh, we call them fully covered scholarships. So it may be covered by because you're a 4.0 student plus your academic incentives plus your uh, athletic money makes you a fully covered student athlete. You have no bills. That takes care of room board, tuition, books, and fees. It just looks a little bit different in terms of how it's written up. Is that just for you, your school, Pikeville, having any scholarships, or is that across the board, across the country? Yeah, that, that's the limit. Now, when we, did, when we put in, uh, NAI Division I and Division II together, uh, the common ground was that we didn't want to have so many haves and have-nots. Eight was the number the NAI settled on. So at one time we had 11, uh, and then to, to put ourselves competitively with the Division II NAI schools, that was the number we fell on.